Hi everybody, thanks for coming and joining me on my live video this morning, this uh, this afternoon. Right now it's early in the afternoon here where I'm living. I know sometimes some of you are watching me it's probably night time where you where you are or late in the evening. Um no matter no matter what what no matter what time zone you're watching me from, I'm glad that you're watching, I'm glad that you've tuned in, and I'm glad that you're here. Uh this is really highly unusual for me to be doing this right in the middle of the day of um, like this for me but I miss doing my live video last night and I'm not sure if I'm gonna get time to do it tonight and so I said no I even have time now why not doing it right now so I won't have to worry about it doing it again later on tonight because tonight I'm gonna be working a night shift tonight so you know so this time this this way I have free time right now uh, so why not do it so I thought yeah let's do it let's do it <laughs> so we're gonna continue talking about what we've been talking about the last couple of days we're gonna talk about what's holding you back <laughs> what is holding you back and myself included now what's holding us back you know the so you know what's holding you back what's holding me back you know we have things in our lives that are holding us back when it comes to us pursuing our goals and our dreams and we got to identify these things we got to get a handle on these things we got to get over these things what's holding us back what's holding you back what's holding me back we got to find out <laughs> we got to find out what it is and we got to do something about it we got to overcome them we got to get rid of them we got to oh, we got to deal with them because only then and only then can we can we then go on and break through and go on and pursuing our goals and dreams to the full extent that we can and we can live the life that we always wanted to live the, the lives that we dreamed of living it's possible it's possible for you and I to live a life of our dreams to live a life of financial freedom to live a life of time freedom we don't have to go to work for make a living we have all the money in the world and you can live you can you can all the money in the world to have that you, you want to do you can and do with 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 more money than you know to do it <laughs> i'm kind of stumbling over those words it's possible it's possible for you to live in a, the kind of house that you always want to live in to drive the kind of car you always wanted to drive to be debt free to go on vacation for six months of the year to own you know to, to have to have more than you ever thought of having you know, I'm not talking about just material things either. You know, just, have, just time freedom alone. Time freedom alone is the priceless. To know you have the time, because you don't have to go to work. You don't have to, you, have to, you don't have to, you know, <laughs> you don't have to be, well, you, you have to work, because we all need to work to earn money. But you don't have to go to a 95 job. That's what I'm trying to say. You work for yourself. You, you're your own boss. You, you're, you're making money. And even if it don't work, the money still comes in. That's what time freedom can buy you. That's what money, whether or not you work, the money still comes in. That's, <laughs> that's the ultimate dream. That's the, almost, the, ultimate, the ultimate lifestyle that we all want to have. Whether or not you work, the money still comes in. You work, you work because it's something you love to do, not, not something that you have to do. That's the difference. A lot of people, a lot of people, 99% of the people in our society, they are working because it's something they have to do. It's, they're not working because it's something they love to do, myself included. If I didn't have to work, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be working. No, I want to work. Don't get me wrong. I'm not lazy. I'm not a lazy person. I want to work. But I want to do what I love, you know. Like for example, I love doing these these live videos. And if I could make money doing these live videos, I would. I'm actually looking for ways to make money doing these live videos because I can do these live videos every day and be great to, to be getting paid doing them. You know, I'm looking for ways to get paid doing these live videos. Why? Because it's something I love. It's not, it's not work for me. This is not considered work. But that's what that's what it is when we pursue our goals and our dreams it doesn't come as work it's something we love to do it we don't consider it work i think donald trump is donald trump is a good example when he's he was the one he said that you know said don't find something that you love to do and then it would not become work it's not work when it's when there's something you love to do but a lot of people in our society they go into a nine to five job they go into a job that they don't necessarily love and lots of time they're rather they much rather be somewhere else but at work 
They would rather be be at home, spending time with their family, especially when it's a nice, beautiful weather outside. They would much rather be at home, spending time with their family. They would much be rather be traveling or being on vacation or rather whatever. They must be lots of time. They much rather be somewhere else instead of at work. But why they're going to work not because they have to, not because they want, they want to because they have to. Work should always should be always should be something we do because we want to, not because we have to. A lot of people in society are working because they have to work. They have to pay those bills. They have to maintain that lifestyle that they have. You know, <laughs> but it should it should it should be something that you love to do, and then it will be work. You know, so whatever it is you find, you what whatever it is your your goals and your dreams are. Pursue it with all your might, with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your energy that you can muster up. Pursue it. Pursue it and find something that you love to do. And then it wouldn't become work. Because even if you even though you'll be working at it, it would you it's at least something you enjoy doing it or love to do. And it at least and you're also getting money doing something that you love to do. So those of you who have joined me, um, thanks for joining me. So, to, so we're going to continue talking about what we talk, started talking about. Uh, last night, a couple of days ago, we started talking about procrastination. These are, these are things that are hold us back, we're talking about here. Things that hold people back from pursuing their goals and dreams. Myself, I'm talking to myself too. Whatever it is that's holding you back, you've back, you got to identify it. Because only when you can identify it, only then you can deal with it. Only then you can, you know, you can work on overcoming it. So you have to identify the things in your life that are holding you back. What's stopping you? You have to identify it. So we have identified five things here. And we talk about two of them so far. And today we're going to talk about the third one. But, but we talk about procrastination. Procrastination is one of the, the biggest hindrance of people in our society. They just procrastinate. Fear is another thing that holds us back. Fear. People have all sorts of fear. Fear, you know, you probably you, you fear in all different types of, in all categories. People have fear in all categories. Cut categories. So fear, a big, a big, another big one. False belief. False belief. People have false belief about themselves and about how they see how they see that's how they see themselves. We're going to talk about this today, and for we talk about low self-esteem or low low self-confidence, low self-esteem or low self-confidence. Another thing that hold people back. And then we talk about fear of rejection, fear of rejection. So today we're going to talk about false belief. False belief. What kind of false belief about yourself that you that is holding you back? A lot of people have false belief about themselves, things that they believe about themselves that are not true, simply not true. And we got to identify these things, as I said before, in order to deal with them and to overcome them and to move on from them. Because only when you can identify them, then you, only then you can deal with them. So what are some of the false beliefs that are holding you back? What are some of the things that you believe in about yourself that is simply not true? true and no one has ever tell you before that hey that's not true about, about yourself a lot of a lot of us have false belief about ourselves because it was ingrained in us from a from a little kid growing up people telling you things about yourself that's simply not true you know maybe if the in the environment that you're brought up into false belief are things that are ingrained in you even from a young child that you believe about yourself that's simply not true Things like I am not good enough, I am not worthy enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not good looking enough, I'm not smart enough, I don't have enough money, I am poor. <laughs> all these things are all false belief about yourself. And then the list goes on and on. There's, lot, there lots, there's lots more about the similar things that people believe about themselves that, that is simply not true. And what it is, it's in, it's in the subconscious mind. We got to reprogram the subconscious mind. Now, I'm not going to get too much into that because 
that in and of itself is a, is a different subject, <laughs> a, a complete subject by itself, to talk about the subconscious mind and the, the belief or what we believe about ourselves. But it, you cannot talk about your false belief without touching on the subject of the subconscious mind. You know, we have two minds. We have the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is where the programming is. It determines the life that we live. It determines how we see ourselves, what we believe about ourselves, what we think about ourselves, and how we perceive ourselves, and how we project ourselves to the rest of, to, to the, rest of the world. And also, it also pre also affect how we see the world around us. It's all based on our on, on what's what's been programmed in our mind, our subconscious mind. What is it that about yourself that you believe about yourself that is not true? You know, one of the things that I I that I'll use myself as an example because I love you. You know, I can't use you as an as an example because I don't know I don't know you. I know myself. And since I'm the one here, I, I, I'm the only one I can use as an example as, of what I'm trying to talk about. But you know, I grew up in, a, I grew up in, a, in my background upbringing, I grew up, I did not take my education seriously. It wasn't until I, I became an adult and I came to Canada that I took my education seriously, thanks to my, my mom. That, but up until then, I didn't take my education seriously. So I, so I grew up not able to. I, I, I could read, but I wasn't. I was reading at a like a very low level from, from my age. For so because of that, that also um, affected my self esteem. A very, very low self esteem of myself, and so. So that was one of my false belief is that, that I always think that I was never good enough, never smart enough, and that didn't have what it takes to succeed, to pursue my goals and my dreams. And all through my life, those are the kind of things that have always held me back, always, always been a stumbling block for me. Every time I try to go after, every time I, you know, I try different things to, 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 um, to change my life, to change my lifestyle over the years, different network marketing business and stuff like that. But every time I try, it's, there's always something that always holds me back, always make me stumble, always make me quit and think that, no, this is not for me because I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy enough, I'm not deserving enough for this. And 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 and, and so I just stop, you know, stop pursuing my goals and dreams and stuff like that. Because these false beliefs that was ingrained inside of me growing up, and I was called different names like stupid and dunce and stuff like that by both family and friends alike. You know, <laughs> these kind of things does kind of shape your, your shape shape your your mind frame of how you see your paradigm of how you see yourself. And then you you don't think that you you know you deserve a certain lifestyle, you deserve certain things in life. But all those kind of things you got I gotta change. I'm in the process. I'm in the process. I'm on the journey. I'm I'm transitioning my mindset to think differently in the last few years now for the last few years i've been working on my mindset to know that i am deserving enough i'm worthy enough i'm smart enough to be successful i have what it takes you know <laughs> i have what it takes to be successful i have what it takes i'm good enough i'm worthy enough i'm deserving enough you know just i was list just recently just yesterday i was listening to a a, a something on YouTube, you know, those of you following these videos, I, you know that I love YouTube, but I was watching, I was watching a, a, a new program by Bob Proctor on YouTube. He's he talking about you deserve, um, the science of getting rich, and uh, how he, he talked about you were born to be rich, you, how, you, how just being a human, just being born, just being a human, you're endowed with a certain amount of ability, you're endowed, you're endowed with a certain amount of, um, Deservingness, I guess. I don't know the right, right words. I'm trying to think off the cuff of my head right now. But you were born a certain amount of deservingness and endowed with it. Just this is just being a human being of deserving to be rich, deserving to be to have the lifestyle that you have, that you deserve to have, that you have always dreamed of having. It's up to you, it's up to me, for us to change our paradigms, to change our mindset, to think differently, to see ourselves differently, to see the world differently, to know that we deserve, we deserve the life that we always dream of having. We deserve to be rich beyond, beyond our, our wildest dreams. 
we deserve the good you know if you know i like what so, if someone has heard someone say that if someone in your city is rich and successful then you it you can be too or you deserve it too you know look around you do you know of anybody who's rich and successful then you deserve that same lifestyle too you can have it too you deserve it too you also can have it it's possible for you too it's possible for me too whatever some whatever other people have achieved and uh, succeed in their life you can, uh, can also do it too because you know why whatever it whatever it is that caused them to be that successful you have it too on the inside of you you have it too so you just what's holding you back that's the subject of today what's holding you back is sometimes it's it's called some of these things is called our false belief false belief about ourselves false belief of how we see the world around you false belief about things that were said about you and to you as you were growing up you know some of the things that we got to reprogram our life our mindset you know we reprogram our mindset by repetition we did we program our mindset by by deliberate action deliberate um, effort on our part that's how we repro we program our, our, our subconscious mind it's, it's going to be deliberate action on your part you got to be specific you got to be deliberate you got to be um determined to 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 do whatever it takes to reprogram your mind listen to books re, um do affirmation you know, one of the affirmation that I, that Brock, Brock Proctor said, and I've, I've been using it for myself. You know, he said, I am so happy and grateful now, now that money comes to me in increasing measures from multiple sources on a continuous basis. I am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing measures from multiple sources on a continuous basis. I am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing measures from multiple sources on a continuous basis basis I am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing measures from multiple sources on a continuous basis you got to use affirmation in order to change your lifestyle to change to reprogram your mind your mind is that your subconscious mind is similar to that of a, a computer hard drive you know a computer hard drive that's the one with best way I know how to how to, to, to give the best example I can give to you to, to, to you understand it's like a computer hard drive it's whatever the program is on there you got to change that you got to change it but you got to be deliberate you got you got to be purposeful in, in in your effort to reprogram your mind your, your subconscious mind but it's also going to take repetition it's not going to be something you do just once and then it's done you got to do it, you got to do it over and over and over again on a constant daily consistent basis you got to do it you got to get rid of these false beliefs you first have to identify it i'll give you homework to do and then today if you have time or whenever sit down Sit down seriously. Sit down. Take have a find a quiet place. You know, nighttime for me is my best time. Is my quiet time. That's one of the reasons why I do my my live videos at nighttime because that's when my you know that's the quiet the quiet that's when it's quietest in the house. Yeah, let's just put it that way. That's when it's quietest in the house. It's at nighttime. So maybe at nighttime that's when there's the quietest in your house. But at nighttime, so. Um, find a quiet time in the house or find a quiet place, go somewhere if you have to, but really do some soul searching. Ask yourself, what is really holding me back? What's some of the false belief about myself, that, that, things, that, that, things that I believe about myself that I would consider to be false? That's not true. You know, if, if, if it things like I'm not worthy enough, I'm not deserving to be successful, I don't, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, I don't have enough money, I don't, I don't have enough education, you know, I don't have the right education, and, um, you know, I, my, because of my background, you know, you know, whatever background I may have, because of my family, you know, whatever, whatever things they use as excuse, whatever excuse, because sometimes your false belief comes out of these are based on these from excuses we make. Sometimes we make excuses in our lives of why when why things are not working out for us as they should be or could be, and we make excuses for them. And sometimes these excuses they're root they're root in unbelief. They're root in unbelief. No, not sorry, on un, not unbelief. On in false belief. 
you know, false belief about ourselves and how we see ourselves and see the world around us. They root in these un these false belief belief. So all of these false belief become we get we all of these false belief we get excuses excuses things we make excuses. Let's see. Oh, 19 minutes. So we're 19 minutes. I was just checking the time. <laughs> we're 19 minutes into this video. So that's good. We still have a few more minutes. Anyway, all of these, uh, all of these false belief that we have about ourselves come excuses. That's what we, that's what our, that's the foundation of our excuses. So whatever excuses you may have or why things are not working out for you, why things are not going good for you, why you're not achieving the kind of success that you know you should be achieving, you're coming up with all sorts of excuses. Whatever those excuses are, their their root, the root cause that they come out of these false beliefs that you have about yourself. They stem out of it. It's like it's like the fruit of your unbelief. It excuses. And so we have to find out. So sometimes when you when you when you're doing this exercise that I'm giving you, when you're writing down your your false belief, look at some of the excuses that you have. You know, look at some of the excuses that you come up with of, of why you're not the life is not going as well as as you know that it should be, and as I know as it should be, because I I know my life should be should be much better off than I'm living right now. I should be pursuing my, I should be living a much better lifestyle than I am. But just like you, I have false belief too. Just like you, I make excuses too. But just like you, I'm doing something about it. Well, no, unlike you, well, just like you, I'm doing some, hopefully you, you're doing something about it too. I'm doing something about it. I'm doing something to, about changing my life, changing my lifestyle, changing the outcome, changing the results that I've been getting. Because at the end of the day, it all comes down to results. What kind of results are you getting and are you happy with those results? At the end of the day, that's how it comes down to. It comes down to results. Why you want to change your life because you want a different result. Why you want to deal with these un, unbelief or these false beliefs? Because you want a different results. Why do you want to be successful? Because you want different results. Why do you want to, to pursue your goals and your dreams? Because you want a different result. <laughs> See, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. You want different results than, than what you have been getting so far. So far, you're not having, you're not happy with the results that you that you've been getting, and you want to do something about it, or you should you should be doing something about it. At the end of the day, it's it's because you want to get a different result. So you do the things that's, that is necessary for you to get the different results. You got to change your mindset. You got to change your false belief. You got to challenge them. You got to reprogram your subconscious mind in order to get different results. Because at the end of the day, that's all it comes down to is the results that you're getting. And are you happy with the results that you're getting presently in currently in your life? And if the answer is no, then you got to do something about it. In my case, the answer is no. And I'm doing something about it. I'm not happy with the results that I've been getting over the years in my life. And I'm doing something about to, to do that, to change that, to make turn that around. Part of the, doing these live videos is part of it. It's part of me doing something different in order to get different results. So what it is you need to do? What is it that you need to do in order to start getting different results than what it is you've been getting? You got to determine that for yourself because for everybody, it's going to be something, it's going to be different. It's going to be different for me. It's going to be different for you. And what it is you need to do to start doing so you can start getting re different results that you have been doing. You got to figure that out for yourself. You got to find out what these false beliefs are that are holding you back and you got to deal with them. You got to deal with them. You got to overcome them. You have to get past them. You got to work through them. You got to change your mindset about them. Change your mindset about how you see yourself. Deal with these false beliefs. 
get over them, get through them, get past them, get around them, whatever it is you need to do. Get it, get it done so you can start getting a different result. Because again, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. That's all that matters is the results that you're getting. You know, the difference between a rich person and a poor person is the results that they're getting, they're producing in their lives. The difference between a poor person and a, and, 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 a, and a rich person or someone who's struggling versus someone who's succeeding, you know, someone who's struggling, you know, financially and in, in other areas of their lives or someone who seems to be, you know, accelerating in their lives. The difference between the two person is that they're getting, they both are doing this, things differently in all, and, and, in, and, in, and in so doing, getting different results. They're both doing things differently, and in so doing, they're getting they're both getting different results. One is getting the result that they're not happy with, they're not they're not proud of, they're not happy with. And the other one is getting results that are, they're happy with and they and that are, that are excelling them, that are progressing them towards their goals and their dreams because they're both doing things differently, and so they get both getting different results. What is it that you're doing? That producing the result that you're not happy about or what is it that you do that you are doing that are producing the results that you are happy about keep doing that but if you're producing if you're not producing the results that you want to see that you're not happy about you got to change excel your life this program just what I'm doing here is all about changing all about change all about change all but encourage you to make the necessary change in your life so you can start getting a different result. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. What kind of results are you getting and are you happy with it? And if you're not happy with it, what are you going to do about it? That's it. This is Robert Harley. This is the Excel Your Life Show. I'm so glad you joined me. I hope you got something out of this. You go out and you have a fabulous, a fabulous, great, wonderful day. God bless you. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you all.